more molecules that have energy greater than the activation energy. So as you can see, as temperature increases, the number of molecules with uh, because because as you can see for the blue area under curve we will consider this entire area we will consider all of this including the red but for the red we will only consider the area under the red curve so as you can see as temperature increases the number of molecules with energy greater than the activation energy increases so the collisions are more frequent because the particles are faster and the collisions occur more successfully because more particles react uh, collide with greater energy. So uh, we have used this Boltzmann distribution curve to explain how an increase in temperature affects the rate of a reaction. Now the effect of concentration on the rate of reaction. So for example we have a vessel, we have a reaction vessel over here, we have a reaction vessel over here and we have particles here. So uh, these are the particles, the reactant particles. Okay. Now um, let's just make so this is this reaction is for example happening happening in water in the aqueous phase. So these black particles are the reactant particles inside the water. Now, if I increase the concentration of the black particles in water, there will be some more black particles in water. So let me make more. So now since there are more black particles in water, the, the chances of the black particles colliding will increase. So the black particles will collide more frequently when I increase the concentration of the black particles. So their concentration increases and hence, their, and, and, and hence the number of particles per unit volume increases which results in more frequent collisions and therefore more successful collisions because obviously if they are colliding more frequently, they are colli uh, the, the number of successful, successful collisions increases as well. So the rate of reaction increases as the concentration increases as you can see. Now the Boltzmann distribution curve, there is no change or shift in the curve for an increase in concentration. So this is important to remember because in the MCQs sometimes they can ask that what will be the change in uh, uh, what will be the Boltzmann distribution curve for a change in concentration and you will you will show that the same Boltzmann distribution curve will be used. Now the effect of, pre effect of pressure on the rate of a gas phase reaction. So let's take a gas phase reaction, uh, so the Haber process for example. So uh, let's use red to denote nitrogen molecules. And let's use black to uh, denote, let's use black for the hydrogen uh, molecules to denote the hydrogen molecules. Okay, so these are nitrogen and hydrogen molecules and they, rea they will react to form ammonia in the Haber process. So now uh, if I ink, this is, let's, let's, take the pressure P for this. Now if I increase the pressure, if I increase the pressure, the particles will be pushed closer together, very close together. And uh, let's make the nitrogen molecules. They will be pushed, if I increase the pressure, the particles will be pushed very closer together. So since they are pushed very closer together, as you can, they, let's take this pressure as P1, so P1, uh, I am saying that P1 is greater than P and uh, since the molecules have been pushed closer together because of an increase in pressure, uh, they will collide more frequent, frequently and hence they will uh, collide more successfully. So as the frequency of collisions will increase at higher pressure, there will be more successful collisions. So as pressure of a gas phase reaction increases, the rate of, a re of reaction increases. And uh, the, uh, just like concentration, there is no change in the Boltzmann distribution curve for a change in concentration because there is no change in energy of the particles. So uh, again, uh, as pressure increases, the particles are pushed closer together so they collide more frequently and hence more successfully. And as a result, the rate of reaction increases. 
Now, before we uh, talk about the effect of a catalyst on the rate of a reaction, we need to know what...